Hi everyone, Dead Battery here, and thank you for joining me on my channel. So today we're going to do a trash find, and I did find something very interesting. Once again, it's something I wouldn't normally pick up, and I didn't find one, and I didn't find two, but within a month period, I found three. I'm just going to show you one of them. What I found was an electronic keyboard. And this would be the second one I found. The first one I found was a rock jam keyboard and it worked. It was just dirty. So I cleaned it. About a week later, I went back to the area and I found this one that the video's on. It's a Yamaha one. Now this one didn't work and it had like this warped look to it. You'll see it in the video, hopefully. My ultimate goal is to donate it for people to be able to play music who may not be able to afford these pieces of equipment. I do not know how to play music myself. I don't know how to play any instrument. Instead of just letting it go to waste, I there's somebody out there that could definitely use it and I'm hoping that these go to good homes. So because I found them in the trash, I did decide to take them outside and open them up. It is very heavy. As you can see there below, that laptop you're looking at is also my first trash find video. I did fully upgrade it and now I use it as my recording and editing computer. So right away, once I open it, there is something going on inside and why I think it wasn't working. It's got the battery terminals, and once I start pulling apart the tape, I can find the other pieces. So since these pieces weren't in place, it would explain why it wasn't working. The batteries are good to go and going to be disposed of properly. After I took a look at it and found that there were no bugs, I did bring it inside. First, I'm going to open up the battery terminal and actually position the contacts in the proper area. The keys are really dirty on this, so I am going to take it apart and hopefully clean it up a little bit. I have no clue how these come apart. I am just going through and removing screws where I see them, hoping that it comes apart and hopefully I can remember how to put it back together. top area here looks like there was old foam on it and it's all corroding and falling apart. This last piece here 
has all the keys attached to it, this is where all the weight is. I'm going to put the back half aside so I can figure out how I can clean this keyboard and the keys. I don't want to just give it a top clean, I'd like to actually get in between the keys as well. It took me a little bit, but I found out that the keys were spring-loaded in place, so you just had to put pressure on the back and they would pop out. However, I had a little difficulty getting the next key out, and after some trial and error, I found out that you had to get the white keys out first before you could pop out the black keys. Now that I figured that out, I'm just going to go through and pop them all out. Try to keep them in some kind of order. I'm not too sure if this matters. However, once again, I've never played music, so I don't know what the keys are called except what's written on them. I did completely clean off, off camera, the bottom part of that metal piece, and now that everything's cleaned, I am going to go through and put the keys back into place. The keys do snap into place like they came out, however, unlike the last one, this time you have to put the black keys into place first before you can put any of the white keys going on around it. It did take a while, but it was pretty satisfying to put all the keys back in place. Now the last step is plugging in the battery terminal. In the end it did actually work so I'm not too sure why it was taken apart and Instead of the normal D batteries put in place, double A were put in place. I'm assuming maybe it ran for a second or two, but I'm not too sure overall what the person's thought process was on substituting one battery for another. I'm glad it did work. It sounded really nice. <laughs> The warping of it, from my standpoint, doesn't seem to affect it at all, but I don't know music. It sounds perfectly fine. Just remember there are places you can go to dispose of your batteries properly, and if you decide you don't want to try playing music anymore, or you don't use an instrument, look around and see if there's places you can donate them to, or see if there's somebody else that could use it. Musical instruments from what I can see are very expensive and there's no point throwing them away when you can give them to somebody else. I know this was a different kind of video than my normal ones but I was kind of excited about it just because it was a different piece of equipment that I wouldn't normally pick up. So thank you for watching and if you like this video please like and subscribe and share with your friends and I'll see you again in two weeks. Bye!